Okay, so I really wasn't planning on recording a video right now. I'm actually just working on kind of practicing and setting up the potential init patch for this case. Um, and I'm just having too much fun, even though you can see I'm like barely patched here. This isn't like staged or anything. This is just as I'm setting up things. I don't even have the accents patched on the drum sequencer to the LXR. I have nothing <laughs> through my Bali Go Go or Maths, no VCAs even in use yet. But the the playability and the interface that I am starting to have here, especially with this joystick and the combination of the 100 grits with the Nautilus. So I'm going to pull these back a little bit in the mix just so we can bring that back in a little bit more later. It's just way too much fun. So there's a very simple loop being triggered uh, in the LXR by the drum sequencer. And I've got the uh, LXR set up to morph between two different kits depending on where my drumstick is vertically. So that's just from one kit to the other kit, right? So this is kind of kit A to kit B and back. Now from left to right, I'm just doing a, a dry wet controlling the mix on the Nautilus. Just, again, bringing the delay in and back out. But now I have this kind of like four corners that I can play with. And even a middle ground I can hang out in. And with the record function, record that and just let it modulate itself, um, which is incredibly, incredibly fun. But I think the other thing that this becomes really nice with in this kind of two-handed setup is doing these kind of kick, uh, bring the kick out, bring the kick back. So I've got Golden Master with the low end muted right now. If I bring the low end back in and back out, but I've also got my actual kick track, so I have this um, drum sequencer in mute mode. So each of these buttons is kind of toggling whether the trigger is even being sent to the, the LXR. So there's my hi hats, open hats right there. If I leave the kick on, but I keep this Golden Master low and muted, I get kind of like a muted kick through, which is kind of nice. And I can bring the kick all the way through with this. Mute it there instead. But also when you have the two different kits, you can kind of combine those. And, and layer both the frequency cut maybe a kick mute and a kit change. All together to create these nice little variations in what otherwise would be, you know, just muting and, and unmuting something. The other thing that I'm caring a little bit less and less about, I know I have a video about the, the dual 100 grits or the 200 grits, um, that uh, I was really concerned about whether Lapsus would be able to act as a macro controller for these. And I am finding I care less about that. Um, and that the difference between these two and coming up here and playing both of them like that is actually it's actually fine. that like variation between the channels 
is actually something that I can be okay with. Um, and not just be okay with, but like be happy with and, and use as a benefit or pro or con. Sorry, it's like a midnight as I'm recording this because I really was not planning on doing anything. Um, and so, yeah, this was, this is just way too much fun and it's giving me so much uh, confidence that this kind of interface row with the joystick and this kind of two hand approach where one hand can be over here, joystick, lapsus, crossfader, Another hand can be managing mutes, toggling some quick mutes on on the Golden Master to control those frequency cuts. And then also up here to really play Nautilus, which is I'm finding to be extremely extremely fun to just get crazy with. And yet it's not perfect. Like this is obviously just me kind of practicing and messing around a little bit, but it is really nice to see some of those building blocks that I had in my head around this kind of two handed instrument where each hand can kind of have its zone. And of course you're going to come over here and you're going to be adjusting things and there's going to be other stuff going on. But when I'm thinking about my case design, it's really important to me to think of it as an instrument and think about how I'm going to play it. Um, you know, the my A case uh, over there has uh, two uh, pressure points modules next to each other. That is really meant to be kind of like where my left hand lives, playing those pressure points, which are vastly different depending on how I'm going to patch it, what they're supposed to do, and what they do, and that leaves my right hand free to kind of fr float uh, and modulate whatever I want over there. I, while I was designing this case over the past several months trying to figure out what the heck do I want it to actually do and how do I want to interact with it, it took me a long time to get to that point. Um, you know, Lapsus was not always in the case design. I almost went with a number of different drum sequencers. Stolper Beats was really, really, really cool looking. Um, but this, this panel layout and really the 4 by 4 is a, a, a ton of a ton of fun. If I bring back and everything, one of my favorite things to do, here's the kick pattern, um, is to just change it by randomly slamming my fingers on the number pad uh, and just living with it. Maybe we can go to another. Um, Like that, that ability to just not think about it. Like I have the tight control over the exact sequencing when I want to, but I can also just know that I can switch to trigger select mode, th throw some fingers at this keypad. And if other parts are, are sounding right, it's usually going to add more than it takes away. Um, and knowing that I can easily undo those things very quickly makes me have a lot more confidence in this as a live playable instrument because that's really the the end goal for me. I don't really save patterns in this yet. Um, I've had it for a long, like quite a while. I am just reusing the same um, project, bank, pattern. I'm not even sure. I just clear it out or keep building upon it and playing with it and messing with it because I want to get really, really fast at dialing in a drum loop uh, from nothing. Because that's my that's my real goal, um, having a patch that lets me come up to this this instrument with really nothing prepared except for my experience with it, and being able to play something that I'm gonna let have have a lot of fun doing, and that sounds, you know, like I want it to sound. Uh, it's one thing to kind of imagine really amazing 
painting in your head. Uh, it's another thing to be able to, you know, hold a brush and actually make that happen. I'm not a painter. Um, but that takes, that takes a lot of practice and rehearsal and being hands-on with something. And that just feels really nice that these early, early building blocks of this um, seem to be there. So in the spirit of kind of documenting my process with this case and with my other case and just with um, my music and, and your work in general, I thought I would turn on the record button and share a little bit of that. So until next time. <laughs>